what can I get here today? My friend, can I have a bottle of your most expensive wine? Are you serious? You want a whole bottle of our most expensive wine? Ryan, even if you sell your birthright, you won't be able to afford it. This is a big insult. What do you really take me for? So you think I'm poor because I have only been coming here to buy beer. In case you don't know, my level has changed. Are you serious? Give me the update. Or did you get a tech job? Tech job? No way. So what's the secret? I just met this new rich young lady. Rich young lady? She is from a wealthy family. She gives me money without me asking. I really love that girl. What about Benita? Are you guys no longer together? We have broken up. Oh, what happened? Benita is really nice lady. My new babe is a nicer and more beautiful young lady. Benita is not young, she is old. But Benita paid your bills. So, please, that was in the past. Get me the wine let me enjoy my new status. Okay, I must do everything possible to marry Scarlet. I only met her a month ago and she has transformed my life. I must marry her. She is over 10 times better than Benita. Scarlet is the queen of my heart. I am ready to be a married man. Benita, welcome back from your leave. We really missed you in the office. We all missed you Benita but Simon missed you the most. Simon, don't be shy, tell her. Stop it Carl. What is she talking about? It's nothing. Hope you are fine. Yes I am. Hope you are also fine. Yes I am. Thanks. When are you going to tell her how you truly feel about her? Tell who? Do you think I am blind? Benita of course. You don't know what you are talking about. I do. You are the one not admitting your feelings. Does it matter? She is in a relationship. Did she tell you that? I know she is. She is always talking about him. I think you have to at least ask her out. And if she says no? Then you'll know you tried. It is better than not trying at all. I don't know about this. Do you want me to help you tell her? No, don't. So you'll talk to her? I'll try. I'm not promising. Benita is a good girl. She is a Christian, she is beautiful, hardworking, intelligent and caring. What else do you want in a woman? I really like her. I just feel she is way out of my league. I think you are perfect for each other. You think so? Yes. Okay, I'll give it a shot. That's my guy. Hey Ruben, you didn't check on me. Were you hospitalized? No. Anyway, I forgive you. I have a gist for you. Ryan, I just got back from work. I'm tired. I am not ready for any gist. I have met the lady I want to spend the rest of my life with. Congratulations. That's it. What else do you want me to say? If you don't want the congratulations, I'll take it back. Why are you so cold towards me? I am your brother. I'm tired of your nonsense. That is why. What nonsense did I do? When did you meet this lady? A little over a month now. Have you broken up with Bonita? How did you break up with her? I couldn't face her after the proposal so I ghosted her. You are very heartless. You ghosted someone you dated for seven years? What was I supposed to do? I am not here to talk about Benita. I am here to talk about Scarlet. So why do you want to marry Scarlet? Scarlet is drop dead gorgeous. She is very caring and generous. I should have known that she is rich. So you want to get married to her because of her money? That is not true. I am not getting married to her because of her money. I knew I wanted to marry her the moment I met her. You can do whatever you like. I don't care. Why do you always say you don't care? Because I really don't. Whatever. Babe, how is your sister? She is doing much better. She is back to work. Hallelujah. That is good. I believe that she is going to have a great testimony soon. The Lord will wipe away her tears and give her a new song. Amen. I believe that. Thanks, babe. You are welcome. The kids are in their room, right? Yes. I just checked on them. They are sleeping. Okay. Dear Father, I thank you, Lord, because you are good and your mercies endures forever. I thank you for not allowing the enemy to triumph over me. Dear Lord, your word says in Joel 2 25 and 26, So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, and the chewing locust. My great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, 
who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. I ask, dear Lord, that according to your word, you restore unto me the wasted years in Jesus' name. I believe that I will marry right and my marriage will honor the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for you have heard my prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Today is the day, Simon. Don't disappoint me. Stop making it sound like it's a project. I know you are a very shy guy, so it's a project for you. Can I do it tomorrow? Face your fear, Simon. Tomorrow may be too late. You can do this. Tomorrow may be too late. Yes. What if she is considering someone else? Oh, you are right. You can do this, my friend. Stop the dance. Hello, Benita. Hello, Simon. You are so beautiful today. Do you mean I'm just lucky to be beautiful today? Do I look ugly every other day? No, no, that is not what I meant. You are beautiful every day, but today is extra. Chill, Simon. I am just pulling your legs. Oh, okay. So, are you going anywhere after work? Yes. My house. I don't know if it will be okay to have dinner with you. Are you asking me out? I'm just happy to see you after a while. That's okay then. All right. See you later. See you later. Can you help me print out the document? I saw you too. Which two? You and Simon, of course. We are just going out for dinner, nothing more. Who are you both deceiving? Everyone in this office knows how much Simon likes you. We are just friends, nothing more. Friends do get married, you know. Lower your voice. Do you want people to hear you? You are no more with that irresponsible guy, so what is preventing you from getting married to Simon? Can you please calm down? He has never asked me out so chill. You don't mean it. I'm serious. But do you like him? He is a nice guy. He is a Christian. He is responsible, hardworking, charming, diligent. It's okay. That's a yes then. I didn't say it's a yes. I know he is going to ask you out soon. He is a good guy. Please don't turn him down. I'll think about it. Can you now help me with the document? Sure. My baby boo. My sweet potato. Stop it. You are making me shy. Meeting you is the best thing that ever happened to me. I want to spend the rest of my life with you baby. Scarlet, will you marry me? Wow, is this really happening? Yes, yes, yes. I'll marry you, boo. I am very sure this is the same guy that proposed to a lady here almost two months ago. I can't believe he has proposed to another lady. Some men are so wicked. Changing women like clothes. It is really none of my business. Let me face my work. What? Why are you smiling? I am just appreciating your beauty. I like you a lot, Benita. I know I have never told you this. Really? Yes. You are not just a colleague, you are a good friend. I want to marry you, Benita. Wow. Simon, marry me. Yes. I believe with good intention, one doesn't have to spend years dating. I am a Christian. I do not believe in dating. I believe in courtship. I don't know, Simon. This too sudden for me. I just left a seven years relationship. Please give me time to process this and pray about it. I understand, Benita. I am always here for you. Take all the time you need. All right. Thanks. I know I want to get married, but a marriage proposal. That's too fast. I am still recovering from the heartbreak. I need enough time to heal. I can't do this. We are finally married. Yes, we are. She's still yet to give you a response. No, I think I shouldn't have mentioned marriage. Why did you mention marriage straight away? I just wanted her to know how serious I am. I am not playing games. I am not going to waste her time. I really want to marry her. You have spoken to her after then, right? Yes, I call her often. She is still insisting that she needs more time. I think she is yet to heal from the heartbreak. That's another thing. You love her, right? Yes, I do. I have also prayed about it. Just give her more time and pray for her. Sure. I'll do that. There is another thing. What's that? I'll be leaving the company soon. Why? I'm going to be married soon. I need a better job. But your salary is impressive. For a single guy but not for a married man. So have you started searching? Yes, I have. That's okay. I'll miss you if you leave though. I'll miss you too. 
I'll still be in the city though because of my wife. Okay. That's good. Welcome to my home, sis. It's so good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing great and you? I'm doing fine. Any gist for me? I think I do. I'm all ears. This Simon guy in my office is asking me out. Wow. Really? That's good. Do you like him? Is it too early to start another relationship? What do you mean by too early? That nonsense Ryan got married last month. You don't mean it. Ryan got married already. Yes. He is in your past so we are not talking about him. He ghosted you so he is now a ghost. It is well. Is Simon a Christian? Yes. He is a believer. He is a born again child of God. So you like him? Yes I do but I don't want to marry a colleague. I don't want to be seeing my husband every day at work. If that is the issue, I think you both should discuss it. You think? Yes. Okay. I'll do that. Okay sis. Just keep praying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. Where are my nieces? They went to visit their dad's mom. What do you want to eat? Any food you serve me. I am hungry. The truth is, I really like you, but I can't marry my colleague. It wouldn't have been an issue for me if we work in a big organization and we won't have to see each other every day. I understand you perfectly. This is a serious issue. You are smiling. I'm smiling because I just got a job at Cable Construction Company. You don't mean it. I am serious. You have nothing to worry about. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Will you marry me now? Yes. I'll marry you. I have not recovered from the last bottle you broke on my head. Do you want to kill me? What do you take me for? A slave. I should cook for you after clothing you and making you what you are today. You were a low life when I met you. Does that mean you can't do any chores around the house? You are making me angry. You are lucky you missed that plate I wanted to break on your head. Do you think you are the only one that can get angry? What is wrong with you? I regret getting married to a low life like you. I still wonder why I accepted your proposal. I also regret getting married to you. You are a beast. You almost killed me the last time. I was admitted in the hospital for a whole week. You didn't even check on me once. Are you even a wife? So you think you are a husband? Let me tell you, you are not. You are nothing but an object. I am leaving this marriage. You dare not. I will release you when I am ready to. For now, you are going nowhere. I am in trouble. Yes, you are. My beautiful wife, my precious gift from God. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you too for everything. Thank you for choosing to spend the rest of your life with me. I'll love you for the rest of my life. I'll also love you forever. See how beautiful my sister is. I am the happiest person here today. It is my wedding. I am supposed to be the happiest person. I am happy it's your wedding day. I'm also happy because you are happy. When you add both together, it makes me the happiest person here. Agreed. I'm so happy for you sis. You waited for this day since we were little girls. I'm happy it's finally here. Yes sis. Most importantly, I'm happy I married right. Yes sis. That is the most important thing. I never knew I could get married just five months after breakup. God is good to me Alice. Yes Benita, God is good to you. I love you so much my beautiful sister. I love you too sis.